Hello, back again for day five of the Everyday Hot Pepper Challenge. Today is a cool uh, thing. I got some homemade Colorado green chili. It's uh, made with dynamite chili, so it's not. It's, it's hotter than the Hatch and the Pueblo chilies, which are just Anaheim. So but the green chili, you know, if you've had hot green chili, you know it can get a little hot. Uh, it's made with these big roasted chilies. But this is the dynamite version. It's definitely hotter than the Anaheim. So it's it's still lower on the scale, you know, that I've been working with. But to make up for that, I got one of these Japanese hots. So I'm gonna go ahead and thank you, Heather, for the awesome homemade green chili, which is an extra spicy batch. So it's got pork and a little bit of tomatoes and garlic and just tons, tons of chopped up green chilies and she actually put jalapenos in there too <laughs> it's delicious oh my god mm. all right so i'm gonna have a little bit of that it's got some heat it is not as hot as you know an arbol um, especially cooked into the chili there, but oh, it's got some heat. Um, all right, so next I'm gonna go ahead and eat, just eat the chili itself. Now I, I eat these on burgers, just a whole green chili strip. They're delicious. Yeah, these are delicious. They're not hot. Now, green chili has got some kick to it, but I can handle it. I can eat a whole bowl of it. Mm. Yeah, those are, they're definitely not as hot on the scale um, as what I've been working with and building to. Man, this thing is going to be hot, though. It's supposedly close to 100,000. Something like that on the uh, skull unit. Oh. Alright. Okay, here we go. All I did was just top the end off there. There's the end. Get rid of it. That is really sweet. And good flavor. Oh, oh, okay, I'm getting rid of the glove. Oh, that's pretty hot. Oh, so now I got to go at least a minute before having a drink. Uh, you know what? This I don't think this is as hot as that R bowl I had. No, it just doesn't burn the back of my throat. It, it my tongue is going. My tongue is going for sure. My tongue is going for sure. Hmm. You know, it's not that bad, man. Either I'm building my tolerance is getting up, or this is just not a true Thai pepper. It's close, supposed to be closer to a habanero. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm ready for habanero. These are Japanese hot, so they're supposed to be pretty much the same as Thai, Thai peppers, which are just under a habanero. <coughs> Oh, yeah, you know, that's not that bad at all. It actually tasted really good and sweet. I would love to put some of that in some salsa or a sauce for a dish. Mm. Well, it's been a whole minute since the last bite. You know, I'm, I did get, I was all scared here. I have some almond milk, I have some yogurt. Oh, I'm good. Wow. Thank you, Deanna and Greg, for the Japanese hot. And she also, they also gave me a, quite a few little jalapenos that are spicier than what you can buy in the store. So I'm going to be chopping that up and making some salsa with it. But thank you, guys. And thank you, Heather, for the green chili. Can't wait to eat more of that with some burritos, some eggs, whatever. But all right. Uh, every day a hotter pepper challenge. Peace out, guys.